welcome back to my channel. Thank you so, so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you so much for clicking on this video and giving it a watch. If you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button and joining my YouTube family. Also, don't forget to hit that like button down below and leave a comment down below as well because all of those things definitely help my channel grow and more than anything, I really enjoy reading those comments. Also, before I get started, let me remind you to keep Frugal J as well as Joel in your prayers and your thoughts. He did just have surgery on Friday, the 30th of September, and so he can use all the love, positive vibes, prayers that he can get, that he is healing in recovery, healing, doing the things he needs to do after having surgery, because, you know, all of that is a lot of work. Um, and... There is also a GoFundMe that is for Jay and Joelle's needs, link down below in my description box. If you can't do that, head over to her channel, join and subscribe, watch her videos as well as the ads because in case you didn't know, that is how YouTubers make their money is by subscribers watching the ads. So now with that, let me get started into my haul. Today for you, I do have a collective haul. Most of what I picked up is what I bought for Braxton for his birthday. We are after his birthday by the time I'm posting this. So this is pre-recorded. I'm gonna let you know that now because I still need to wrap the gifts, have them ready and give them to him. His actual birthday was on September 29th on Thursday and then his party was on October 1st. And so he has now received these gifts and so I can put them out there in the YouTube world just in case he's nosy and tries to see things. Um, so that is what's most of what's gonna happen is um, his birthday gifts. So I can't wait to share that with you. I have several different stores. I have Walmart, I have Big Lots, I have Five Below, Amazon, Target, and that's all I can think of for now. Some of the stuff you may have seen already because what I've been doing is I've been putting all those gifts in a tote and then that way they are hidden in plain sight because I don't always have the best room to hide everything. But if they're all in this tote, they'll be wrapped and given to him by then, so that's fine. But um, I am gonna pull from there. So some of the stuff I can't remember whether or not I've showed it to you, so you might get a quick re-glimpse of some of the stuff. But before I get started on Braxton items, I wanted to share my mug that I picked up at Big Lots because it is too darn cute. They've started putting out their Christmas decor and my kitchen is in gingerbread. My kitchen and I think my coffee bar Last year, my coffee bar was a hot cocoa coffee bar, more in peppermint, but I might do it more in gingerbread this year, um, but it was at least peppermint with a, a splash of gingerbread. But how cute is this mug with this little gingerbread guy? And it is a nice big mug that has lots of room for coffee. It was $5.99. I don't think it was on any kind of sale because I did check the receipt afterwards, but it is definitely worth that $6 with how darn cute this is. The gingerbread guy is only painted on one side, so you have to make sure you're holding it right so the world can see your little gingy friend while you're drinking your coffee. So I had to share that with you guys real fast because it's too cute. So also when we are at Big Lots, we did run into two movies. These will probably be Christmas gifts, so hopefully the kids still aren't watching it. But we found the Lego Movie 2 for $5 and it has Legos inside. So... Um, we picked it up because it has a little, hey, 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 puppies. So it has a little Emmett and a little heart in there as well. So super cute um, and totally worth the $5. And then, and it's a combo pack. So Blu-ray combo pack. So the Blu-ray, Blu-ray, DVD, and digital all in there. And the kids have a deep, like a movie state, like little area in the basement that they can go watch movies. So that's why we pick them up like DVDs and stuff because they can go down there and watch whatever. And then this one is rated PG-13. So it's a little bit too old for the kids, but Eric loves battleships, loves battleships. Like that is his jam. And so he plays one of the games that's like battleships on the, the Xbox. And so I thought he would enjoy this movie. And so for $5, he will get that for Christmas as one of his Christmas gifts. So don't tell them. And children, if you're here watching, it's on you that you don't that you don't have surprises for Christmas. Now for Braxton's birthday, um, not all of this is for, for him necessarily per se. So you've already seen this. We picked up a bunch of games to add to the game stuff for, because we're gonna do game stations at his party, or we already did do the game stations at his party, but I tossed this in there so they don't know yet that they have these. I was thinking about before the party, I don't know if I've done it or not, because by now this has happened, but I was gonna kind of give it to the kids as a family gift, because it, not all of the, the games are for Braxton, they're like for the family to be able to play on our gaming systems. And 
to go along with that, we found at Walmart some discounted games. So we found this one. It is Tetris 2 and Poyo Poyo, the ultimate puzzle match. It is rated everyone 10 plus. Um, I love Tetris. Tetris was one of my favorite games and this one's for the Xbox. But it shows on here that it was 15 but it actually was $10. So we picked that up for it was either 10 or 12. Between the two of these, one of them was 10, one of them was 12. I can't remember which was which. But um, for that price, 22 for two games, we thought it was a good deal. And again, I love Tetris. So I was really excited about that one. And I was looking for this for um, the party so that, you know, there's some options that are a little more girly. Plus, I think just to play, I think Lorelai would love this. I think I would probably like this one. But it is Cooking Mama cook star for the ps4 so grabbed that um to have at the party and you know to add to our game games that we have here at home uh for braxton for his birthday we are now that we got the ps4 or on the um xbox i don't know which one we had landed on uh but we're gonna download fortnite for him because he's been wanting to play more of that and then i got him the 20 dollar fortnite v bucks and you get 2800 v bucks i don't know exactly what that means but i know it's money that they can spend in the game my husband likes to joke that you are taking real money and turning it into fake money makes perfect sense but um i got that for him as one of his birthday gifts so I picked that up at Walmart, but you know you can get those most places. And then this was in their clearance section. So it was normally $24.27. I got it for $18.20, but it is a Nerf gun. It might have been less than that too. I will be honest, I have a handful of toys that I found in the clearance section, but I haven't hauled them for fear that my children are nosy um, and they're going to be Christmas gifts. But this one for his birthday, because I'm doing kind of some Fortnite stuff, I grabbed this for him. Um, because him and Eric both have Nerf guns that sometimes they like to play. And then this way too for his Halloween costume if he wants a Fortnite weapon, whatever that is, and he wants to pretend like this is it. I don't know how all that works on Fortnite. I, I try to understand, I don't understand. But um, I got him this Nerf gun because it was on a discount on clearance and I thought that that was awesome. Um, I did already haul this. It is the jacket that I'm going to use to make his Halloween costume. Um, and then I hauled that I got some white fabric to put on the back and all that. But I did order from Target and it finally came the rest of his costume. So what I ordered was just a pair of solid black pants. They were, they're size 16 so hopefully they fit him. They are marked $10. I think I did pay the $10 for them but then they could be school pants afterwards so he can wear for his costume and be school pants because he just needs more of those as the weather is getting cooler. And I also got for him just a solid black long sleeve shirt. This one is in 2X size 18 but I wanted to make sure it was nice and big and comfortable. And then again after he uses it for his Halloween costume he could wear this either under his short sleeve t-shirts for school to add another layer to keep him warm at school or just as a solid black shirt um, but it can just go in his closet afterwards and while I was shopping on Target online I found this one and I thought that he would like it so it's just a Fortnite long sleeve tee it says Fortnite with those characters mixed in there and it's $10 it might have been on sale when I bought it but it might have been $10 and I got it in the 2x which I think is like size 18 um, again so that it's just nice and loose and comfortable for him because he's just getting bigger my baby's growing up so I got him that Fortnite shirt because there is you know some Fortnite going on in the themes of his stuff from Amazon this is going to be a Christmas gift because I went extra for his Halloween costume um, and so I was going to give it to him for his birthday and then it also will be his Halloween mask and then he can have it you know for decoration in his room or whatever he wants but it is the mask that is the character he's being the character's name is dash and so it looks like this but this one is extra because it lights up and i don't it's kind of bright in here so you can't see it lighting up but it lights up solid or it blinks slow or it blinks fast and then it's kind of dark in here so or bright in here so you can't see it but i went extra i got him the extra one that lights up so i thought that he would like that and so i'm giving it to him for his birthday because it's you know fun and he'll like that and then he can be it for Halloween so I got that for him this is the box that it came in and I'm gonna wrap it in that for his birthday but 
I don't want to mess it up in the meantime. Um, I think that's it for like the Fortnite like character dress up. Um, I did haul these already I think twice now because I am, I've picked them up twice. But these are the set that I'm giving him for his birthday gift. It's the Fortnite Supply Drop Collector's Edition, Fortnite Outfits, Battle Journal, and Survival Guide. And since we're letting him download the game, he'll have the V-Bucks. And if this helps him, you know, play the game, then he'll be excited. And then I also have an extra set so that he can gift them to a friend later on. Because what an easy gift to give those gifts and like v bucks as long as we know that that kiddo plays fortnite um i think that that would be a great gift to somebody so we picked that up for oh i picked up an extra set he doesn't know that yet um five below i grabbed this pillow for him it just says everything's under control it's got the controller it's really soft and squishy so i think he'll like that a lot um i'll gift it to him before his birthday we'll probably just stick it on the couch because it goes with the theme it matches um and then he'll probably just keep it on his bed it's cute and squishy kind of like a squash mellow which you know all the kids love right now including him he kind of always asks for one so i've already hauled this you saw this i picked him up a squash mellow um at five below for 5.95 the cute little dragon one and he'll enjoy both of those um and i got those at five below also from Five Below, I did haul this already and I'm going to gift it to him and tell him we're just going to hang it up somewhere for his decor. But it says, warning, video game in progress, any unauthorized entry will be eliminated. Um, and then um, maybe the candy bar or somewhere I'm just going to like lean it or have it somewhere as decor for his party. I found Pokemon cards at Five Below. Uh, they were $5 per pack. You get 10 cards. So he's ish into Pokemon still. Mostly I think because his little brother, Eric, just just really got into it. He's we're on even years eight. And so he literally just like just got into Pokemon big time. And so Braxton's really enjoying pulling out all his cards and like they're trading and doing the Pokemon things. So um, I got him a few more cards to add to his collection. Back in the summer, you probably can't find these anymore, and I can't remember if I hauled it then or not. I picked up this beach towel, and it says game over. And so I'm going to give that to him, and then that way whenever we go to the pool or the lake or wherever we go that we need a pool towel, he has this one to choose from. Each of the kids have like two to three of their own towels. I hang them in their closets, and then that way they are responsible for them um, for when we go to the pool or wherever. Um, also during the, the pool season I grabbed this so I'm going to give this to him before and then it's going to go with our summer stuff or when we go to the lake but it is a ride on raft or the little raft that is or float that's a game controller so I thought that that was really cute and I think it'll be cute to blow up and put out for decor for his party and then when we go to the lake next year he has that that he could play on in the water the community pool we go to you can't bring your own rafts like that so it's typically we use them when we go to the the lake. Um, also from Five Below, this might be a Christmas present. So if he's watching this, then he'll know. But um, I got the Lightning Strike Neon Light. This is battery operated. Two, I, I might have hauled this one already, but I can't remember. Two AA batteries. Um, it was five 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 five. 555. His room right now is decorated Harry Potter because that was last year's birthday theme. He was really into it. He is starting to get a little bit out of Harry Potter, but for now that is still the decor in there. So I thought that this matched really well with that. Um, and if we went gamer theme, that's one of my ideas. I'm going to hold all the decor in case he decides he wants to change his theme. And I already have all this gamer decor. Uh, this would match in that as well. So it can go either way. So I'm holding on to it for that. And then I got in this little keychain with the carabiner and keychain um, that says gamer. He doesn't need a house key yet because he typically does not come home when we're not home and with him. But if it gets to that point, that'll be perfect for him to have his key on. Um, and then I did haul these already. We were really fortunate. We went to go look for this specifically and they were on sale for only $4 at Five Below. And so that was exciting and we're going to put them on the TVs for the party. So when I do my my party walkthrough, keep an eye out. I don't know if it's going to be too bright in the house that they're going to show up as well. But that was the idea for these. Um, and then I don't know if we're going to try to give them to him afterwards. I don't know how easy they'll come off of the TV. 
I'm not really sure what the plan is for these, if they're gonna be a gift gift or if they're just gonna be for decor. Not 100% sure. Also from Five Below was these playing cards. I've definitely already hauled these. They are the PlayStation 10 that holds the cards and the cards look really fun because they have all the PlayStation like symbols. And so if he ever wants to play cards, I thought that that was a fun way to do it and it fits the theme. So that is, I believe it from Five Below. Um, from Amazon also, I picked up this. So I can now say it, he's getting a phone for his birthday. We have been sticklers, we have not let him have a phone. He's turning 12. Lorelai got one when she turned 10 because that was from her mom, um, not from our household, but he is to the point where he wants to do more socializing, be out with his friends, and I'd like to have that accountability and that being able to get a hold of him. So he is getting a phone for his birthday. And I got this wireless charger, which even though like the phones are downstairs for charging at night, not in their rooms because they're not quite to that point, but I thought that that was fun with all the neon lights. And once he gets to the point of it being in his room, then he can have that in there. Um, from Amazon, I got him this binder. It is a Pokemon card binder. He asked for this, well, not this print, but one of these specifically because his brother and sister both have these, the style of binders for their Pokemon cards. So he wanted one too. Um, and again, he's not super into the Pokemon, especially at school and stuff, but you know, it's fun with his sister and brother being into them and him being into them with them. He wants to still participate with them. So I grabbed one of these. This one felt a little bit of an older print. I don't know, I liked it. It has Squirtle, Eevee, Charmander, Charmander? And I don't remember this guy's name. I, tr I try, but I don't remember. But it's a soft, soft shell case and it zips. And according to all of the um, descriptions of them on, on Amazon, they're water resistant, waterproof. It has a, a holder to hold it. And it comes with all the sleeves on the inside. And this one was $10, $12, something like that. It wasn't crazy on Amazon. And like I said, he asked for it specifically. So I wanted to get it for him since the other two have them. Lorelai got one first for her birthday and then Eric managed to get one from his mom's house. I think grandma and grandpa got it for him. Um, and then, yeah, something that way he can have one. Uh, for Dollar Tree, I did pick this up. I hauled it that this would be cute for birthday decor for the theme that I'm doing. But also because he is getting a phone, I thought that this would be cute because like when he's watching, if he's watching a video or just doing anything on his phone, this can be his little stand for it because it sets up as a phone stand. Or if he is playing any games, not that he'll be doing a lot of gaming on his phone because it depends on what we let him download, but um, it could be used to easily hold his phone while he is doing games. So I thought that he would enjoy that. I did pick up this light bar from the Dollar Tree Plus section. I liked this one better than the one from Five Below because this one is USB so that you can plug it into the wall and the one from Five Below was battery operated and the one from Five Below had like different circles of lights where this one was just like a light bar that can shine in different colors. So this is going to be a gift for him for sure. Not unlike the TV ones, I don't know what we're doing with those, but this will be a gift for him that we're going to use for the party, but then he can have it in his room afterwards because it's fun and I think he'll like that. Um, around school supply season I found this but I thought I would just stick it to the side and gift it to him because he didn't need these for school supplies but he can use them to just draw in or write in and he likes axolotls. I don't want one as a pet because it's a water pet and I don't like water pets in the, the maintenance but um, he likes axolotls so it's an axolotl who is gaming and I thought he would enjoy that so He'll be getting that as a gift to do do whatever with and lastly for the gifts so if you don't know my son has been growing a mullet he's been working hard on it he just got a haircut and it it really brought the mullet out like because he cut the side so you can really see it and i was online one day and there was a whole thing about um mullets and oh what is the name of these hold on i gotta open it to see because i can't remember and um pit vipers and so i have apparently these are from the 80s i don't really know much about pit vipers but i definitely thought he needed a pair to go with his mullet so i got him a pair of pit vipers i ordered them from walmart and they were only like 15 bucks from walmart so they're not any like crazy expensive 
um, until he gets older and more responsible and all that stuff to get some like expensive glasses. They're more expensive than the ones he has. He only has Dollar Tree glasses so far, but um, I thought he needed these to go with his mullet. So I thought that they were fun and colorful and they got kind of like a splatter paint thing going on with them. I don't know exactly what these are for. Oh, they wrap more around your ear, probably if you're, I don't know, riding a bike, whatever. Whatever you do in Pit Vipers, it goes more around your ears. And it came with the Pit Viper little bag to keep them in. So I'm really excited to give him these Pit Vipers. They made my day when I bought them. So um, hopefully, hopefully he actually likes them. But I thought they went really well with the mullet he's got going. Um, and then just to recap on some of the wrap wrapping stuff I picked up. I did from Dollar Tree, got him the bows that I will add probably to like the blue wrapped items. I did buy these, that's tissue paper, these big gift bags. Um, probably like this Fortnite Nerf gun, it's pretty huge. And then that way I don't have to use all the wrapping paper for it. So I'll probably just stick that in one of these and kind of wrap around it with one of these bags. I didn't know everything that he was going to be getting, so I didn't know how big of a, a gift bag I needed. but. I got two just in case because they're the right colors for the theme. From Dollar Tree, I found this bag. It says, happy birthday, hooray, woohoo. Um, and so that way that can hold some stuff. This one came from Walmart. I think it was a dollar, maybe two. I can't remember for sure. Um, but it fits the theme perfectly. High score with the little video game controller. And then I got the green tissue paper from Dollar Tree, which will match in there quite nicely. And from Dollar Tree, I got this box. It just reminded me a little bit of, I don't know, tech, techy with the design on it. Um, and then I got this wrapping paper from Target with the gamer stuff. Um, and I also got a, a solid blue wrapping paper that I just have on hand from Dollar Tree and a green kind of striped one too from Dollar Tree. Um, my plan is because he thinks he's getting a phone, but he doesn't know for sure he's getting a phone. So I don't want to wrap anything like I don't want to wrap it to see that it's a phone. I think I want to put it in a really big box so that that way it's more of a surprise when he opens it and it's a phone because that will be like his number one gift out of anything is the fact that he's finally getting his own cell phone. Um, let me know down below with your kids and cell phones, is there, what apps do you use? I know there's Bark to help keep your kids safe. There's one that starts with a Q and I can't, I can't remember the name of it, but that's what I'm probably buying and I can't remember the name of it um, because that one you can do multiple devices on your account and it just seemed like it fits our needs better. But I'm curious your thoughts on kids with cell phones and how you keep them safe because I do have a lot of anxiety about giving him a cell phone and like all the all the things that are out there in the cyber world um but you know he's 12 and it's kind of I feel like time so that he could be more with his friends and I feel more secure for that so that is what I got for Braxton for his birthday um he already owns it all now that um you're seeing this but I didn't want him to sneak peek so thanks you Thank you. Thank you all for being here so, so much. Keep an eye out because I will be probably next week on Monday doing the birthday party um, and putting that all in a video for you to see. If you are interested in the parties that I put together, I do have a playlist of those now linked down below in wherever you find my playlists. Actually, I don't know where you find that on the YouTubes, but I do have a playlist of all my parties to make them easy to find. So that way you don't have to scroll through everything. I recommend the Harry Potter party. That is the one I am most proud of. Um, and that will be it for today. Thank you guys for being here with me. I do appreciate all of you so very much um, for being here and being a part of my journey and part of my life, enjoying what I do for the kids and all the things. So I just, I appreciate you guys so very much. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. Bye.